Hey, so what's this project about? Oh, well, it's like I have to find like a book and then like, find an essay. Like, I don't know, that's right now. What book are you going to take? I don't know. Hey, dude, check out this one. Man, that, that's a dictionary. Excuse me, can I check out this book, please? Sure. This isn't in the system. It's not? Um, no. Can I just take it then? Is that okay? Sure. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This the book wasn't in the system. It's weird, huh? Okay. <laughs> just, I don't know. Alright, bro, I'll see you later. Right. Hey, you're not gonna do the assignment? <laughs> no. <laughs> you're gonna fail the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready to play this game? Yeah. Why'd you even bring me here? Well, why, why'd you bring Danny? I don't know. I just came. Wait, wait. Which game? It's, it's called The Door. So how you play the game is we start with either two, three, or it can be up to like four people. And we all sit in one area. All right, and then what the person that's going to go under into the this dream world, they sit on the narrator's lap. The narrator is going to be me. Okay, the narrator puts his hands over his eyes and he tells him the story of the door and asks him what's he, what's he sees in his dream world. And in this dream world, you'll find a door. It could be a brown door, black door, blue door, or it could be the oak door. The oak door, you never go into the oak door. If you go in the oak door, you're never getting out of the dream world. Okay, but this is all fake though, right? No, I'm pretty sure it works. I mean, let's just play it then. The game's obviously fake, but I mean, I'll go into the dream world. Alright Matt, ready for this game? Yep, let's just get it over with. Alright Danny, me and you are the chant, into the door. Okay, over and over again, so I'll put some in the sleep state. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Into the door, into the door. Into the door, 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 into the door. All right, Matt. Do you see anything? It's raining, and it it looks like there was a, a forest fire. Okay, hey, what else is there? There's a carving in this tree. It's the same symbol from the book. Is there anything else? There's... There's somebody following me. I see a, a door. What, what kind of door? 
it's made out of wood. Like, oak wood. Okay, Matt, you have to stay away from the oak door, okay? Don't go inside the oak door. Matt? 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 Hello? Hey, Matt. What's up? What happened last night? What do you mean? The game. Oh, um, I don't know. It, that wasn't a dream? No, it actually happened. Well, how did I get in bed? We brought you home. Oh. <laughs> um, alright. You trying to hang out? Alright, later. Hey. Alright, you guys can just sit down right there. Uh, I gotta go check something out. Alright, for sure. Welcome back to Our Falcon Show. I'm Pablo Contreras. And I'm EJ Garcia. And now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. Uh, I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, stands one nation, under, under God, God, indivisible, with, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Thank you. For the month of October, PBIS is supporting the fabulous Falcon behavior of being an outstanding citizen. As an outstanding citizen, remember to work hard with others, respect their thoughts and opinions. This can be accomplished by not speaking if you have nothing positive or encouraging to say. Each week there will be a drawing of names in the pool who have received a fabulous Falcon ticket. Each winner will earn 5 star points for the 5 star program and will include in a monthly drawing for a personal iPad. Remember Falcons, points can add up for students to redeem them to cool stuff like lanyards, t-shirts, bags, and much much more. Here are last week's winners. Oh, well hello there Roberto. Now tell me, have you ever seen a 6'7 athlete play jump rope with lanyards? Take a look. Remember Falcons, don't be without your ID. Be the standard, wear your lanyard. Falcons, be sure to wear your IDs and lanyards, ensuring that your ID is visible, not on your backpacks or other items, but on yourself. Be the standard, wear your lander, don't be without your ID. And now, quality time. Oh, well, good morning, Rubido. Mm -hmm. The future belongs to the competent. Be good, get better, and be the best. This has been another installment of Quality Time.
Hawkins. If you or anyone you know is interested in joining this year's wrestling team, be sure to hit up Mr. Kendall in room 609. All guys and girls are welcomed with no experience necessary. Keep in mind that boys and girls do wrestle separately and there is a weight class for everybody. Falcons for the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Stay pink. And we're here to play Name That Sound. Welcome back to Name That Sound. I'm Pablo Contreras, and can you name this sound? I'll give you one more shot. If you said a dog, you're right. Attention Falcons! Reaches is hosting this year's Purge at Rubido High School. Come on out and experience the Purge. Can you survive? Attention Falcons! This Saturday at Fontana Raceway, the Matt Falcons will volunteer with Leukemia and Lymphomia Society's Light the Night fundraising walk. There will be booths, food, music, and crafts. Also, the walk is to honor the people with this blood cancer. If you are interested in volunteering, see Miss Martinez in room M1. Festivities will start at 2 p.m. Bring your family to experience a wonderful night. Attention seniors, we will have a very special guest speaker, Tyler Derman, here on Tuesday, November 3rd, during first period. On this day, please report directly to the gym for first period. Roll will be taken through a signing sheet. You will listen to an inspiring message of Tyler Derman. Once again, on November 3rd, report directly to the gym for first period to hear Tyler Derman speak. I said, you know me? She starts crying. Oh, this is good. She's crying. I don't know her name. She's going to sit next to me all night on the way to Chicago, and she is weeping. Not little polite tears. No, she is like projectile crying. <laughs> tears shooting straight out of her face. I'm all Matrix. The flight attendants are looking at me like, what did you do to that poor girl? I said, are you okay? Stupid question. You don't ask a crying female if she's okay. Glen Avon Regional Library presents Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. This event will take place on Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016, starting at 4 p.m. The event is located at the Glen Avon Regional Library. Come on out and have fun. Good morning, Rubro. Welcome back to Sports Central. The segment keeps you up to date with sports news, highlights, as well as student and coach interviews. I'm Jose Castellan, and here are last week's scores. Football played versus Alago and made him cry with a win of 48-8. Congratulations to the football team with an undefeated score of 8-0 this year. Boys Water Polo played Moreno Valley and won with a score of 18-2. They also played San Bernardino but lost with a score of 5-8. Don't worry, boys. You'll get them next time. Girls Tennis played Vista Del Lago and aced them with a score of 15-3. Did you know that our girls tennis team is undefeated in the league with a score of 10-0? Girls Volleyball played San Bernardino and spiked them with a score of 3-1. They also played Pacific and blocked them from a win with a win of 3-1. But they lost against Banning with a score of 0-3. That's it for today, Rubro. I'm Jose Castellan and I'll see you next time. Next boys basketball trials for in-season athletes will be Monday, November 7th at 6 p.m. in the gym. Bring a copy of your physical and bring your basketball apparel. This is a one-day trial, so bring your game. As Halloween fast approaches, please note that our school dress code will still apply to students and staff's costumes. Additionally, students should not have masks, fake weapons, or other costume features that would deem inappropriate on campus violation of the dress code. If a costume is considered to be a violation, you will be asked to call home and have a parent or guardian bring you a change of clothes. Are you a young woman between 14 and 18 who volunteers in their community or school? You might be eligible to sign up for a 2,500 cash scholarship award. Visit the Career Center for more information on the Saraf Miss Student Volunteer Award. Deadline is Friday, December 2nd, 2016. Seniors, a CSU application workshop will be held after school on Thursday, November 3rd. Visit the Career Center to sign up. Sign it up, boys. Singers, a CSU Santa's Laws on the Spot Administration opportunity will take place next Wednesday morning, November 2nd. In order to be considered for this opportunity, you must be on track with A through G requirements, have taken the SAT or ACT test, or register to take the test no later than the December test date, and obtain an administration ticket to this event from your guidance coordinator. 
Up next is a mobile messaging campaign that will provide millions of students and families across the country with personal reminders, encouragements, and connections to assist with education and civic engagements. Riverside County Schools are participating in a county-wide intensive to increase college awareness and provide resources to juniors and seniors via text. We are making this friendly competition among Riverside High Schools. We are currently ranked 36 out of 142. The first place school has 160 student submissions. Falcons, remember that every Wednesday is College Aware Day. Make sure to wear your college of choice. But remember, Falcons, no hats. The dress code is still in effect. A financial aid workshop for seniors will be conducted on Thursday, October 27th at 7.30 a.m. in the library. Although the financial aid deadline is March 2nd, seniors should complete and submit financial aid applications as soon as possible. The Harupa Lions Club, in partnership with the Harupa Unified School District, is sponsoring a free vision screening with free recycled glasses screening conducted. The first event will be on Saturday, October 29, 2016, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Harupa Middle School. And the 6th Annual Healthy Body and Healthy Mind Health Fair from 11 to 3 p.m. Pablo, what's wrong? I heard that the dead people, they're coming back on November 6th. They're going to come and get us. You mean the Day of the Dead car show? The Day of the Dead Car Show? Yeah, the Day of the Dead Car Show. That's when people go to show their nice cars, have a good time. Want to come with? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, so I think it's been pretty fun, dude. I'm really excited. Hey, so you're taking my car, right? Yeah, the pink Ford Focus. Watch out, watch out. Custom Culture Cars presents the 7th Annual Dia de los Muertos. The Day of the Dead Car Show will be on Sunday, November 6th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Glen Avon Heritage Park on 7701 Mission Boulevard, Rupa Valley, California. There will be awards, food, music, and vendors. If you want to register your car, it will be a fee of $15, and for a regular ticket, it will be $5. Car registrations are open to all pre-1972 hot rods, customs, and classic cars, and all motorcycles. Kids 12 and under are free. Students free with ASB card. No dogs, no smoking, no alcohol. Come on out and have fun. Attention lovebirds and sweethearts. Roses are on sale every Friday in front of room 605. The cost is just only $2. Behind me is the room of Rubido High School's very own Alan Umbarger, who has given me the time of his day to interview him to ask him about questions about the avid club provided here at Rubido High School for its students. Hello, I uh, just wanted to talk to you about the AVID program here at Rubido High School. Uh, we've actually had the program going since 1991 uh, and it has grown. One of our focuses is this year that we are trying to get back to basics and really uh, go back to the AVID strategies. Now you probably ask, what are the AVID strategies? Well, or even what is AVID? AVID is a program that is designed to help the kids that are in the middle uh, kind of the middle underrepresented kids get the steps and the tools to get into college. Students in the AVID program will be accustomed to having Mondays and Wednesdays as their tutorial days. In these days, students are given the opportunity to discuss with fellow classmates on any subject they may be having issues with. While the AVID program encourages students to help each other in finding solutions to their problems, alongside them are the AVID tutors. These are currently enrolled college students who are here to offer assistance when needed or to give helpful advice on choosing a future college to attend and what may be needed before applying. My name is Eugene Brella. I'm a senior here at Rubio High School and I've been in AVID since I was in the seventh grade. Um, what I'm looking forward to most in my last year of AVID here is um, just having fun with my friends and just enjoying it to the fullest. Um, what I've gained over these four years that I've, AVID that I've had in high school is just to stay organized and it's really helped me look forward to college and it's really helped me like learn what to expect. AVID students will learn how to fill out the FAFSA, which is a financial aid program available to all high school seniors in the United States. Once college applications open up to the public, the high school AVID teacher, Mr. Olazabo, will help the AVID students with the application process and how to submit to the school of their choice. When the opportunity to learn how to get into your dream school comes, will you reach out and take it? Albert Orozco from RVP News, signing out.
poolside. That's it for today, Rubido. I'm EJ Garcia. And I'm Pablo Contreras. So hi, and have a Falcon amazing weekend. Stay, Stay golden, golden Falcons, Falcons and, and you just been fed. fed. Here you go.